So what do we gain from, from that, from giving up our sense of self and kind of joining the collective? Social acceptance. Social acceptance. So what do we gain from that? What do we gain from social acceptance? Others. Oh, we gain friends. We don't you lose the fear of being outed from society. Yeah, so, so now there's a sense of security that we gain from, from being part of society, so there's safety that's there. So we gain friends, we gain safety. What else do we gain? We get, we get a sense of belonging, which is a really deep, I mean, existential need that we have, a sense of belonging, and to feel like we do belong. So we gain quite a bit, actually, from surrendering our, our self and joining the collective. We tend to think of that as a very negative thing. It's like, oh, don't do what society expects of you. Okay, let's see how that goes for you. you know? I think about even students here who I see, who, especially in the new building, I used to see it all the time, students who sit by themselves during lunch in the hallway, or they sit by themselves in the stairwell, and then I hear other students talk about them. God, they're so weird. What's wrong with them? You know, why do they sit by themselves? Why do they dress like that? Why do they? So it's an interesting thing, right? Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Now be yourself in, until you are, if what you are is, is different from everyone else. You know? But there's something to be said again about, about joining the collective and being part of it, because, I mean, how does the society form and why does it form? You know, it forms because we kind of center around shared values of things. And so if a lot of people share these values, it's a weird thing for us to then turn around and say, well, if you have these values, though, you shouldn't, because that means you're like everybody else. Well, what's wrong with being like everybody else? makes life a hell of a lot simpler. If you're constantly being different and you don't fit in, well then, you know, your life is going to be a very difficult go of things. And so, we, again, it's one of those things that we just kind of take for granted that we should be like everybody else. Even though, many of us, by the way, are not different. You know, we should. And so, I came out of nowhere. So, the person who gives up their individual self and becomes an automaton, I mean, the, I mean the, the insult there seems to be to us, automaton, a person who just kind of does things without thinking. But, again, do you, how many people do you know who go through life questioning most things? You know, this is the idea that many people don't. And by the way, questioning most things, we seem to, to confuse with the idea of rejecting most things. To question things does not mean to reject them. It means exactly that, to question them. To, to, to see if it is good. You know, we have this tendency to just kind of look at things like, I have mentioned before, I wonder how many of us, well, like for example, if we had a dress code, and I said, oh, the next year we have a dress code. Let's say you guys were juniors, so it actually affected you. And you, I wonder how many of us would sit there and go, oh my god, that's so stupid. I don't even know why they're doing it. See how that's backwards. You know, we should first figure out why are they doing it. And then, and then once we figure out why it's being done, to see if those are purposes that we actually want to fulfill, and then figure out if those are if those purposes will be fulfilled by a dress code before we say something like, that's stupid. You know, very few things in life are stupid. Most things in life are well thought out, just not by us, by other people. And that doesn't mean therefore we should accept them. But we should understand that things are in place for a reason. You know? And that things run pretty smoothly with how things are in place right now. You know, before we start talking about trying to overturn the systems, we should start thinking about it. Like, do you guys like electricity? Yeah. You know, do we like the fact that money works? You know, do we like the internet? Yeah. Do we like all of these things that a conforming society provides for most of us? And most of us are going to say that we do like those things. And so it seems like it's in our best interest to have a lot of this stuff going on. Because that's how things get done in this society. Things in society don't get done by people who, who are constantly bucking the system and are trying very hard to overturn it. Now, that's how changes happen by, by people like that, but we've got to figure out if these are changes that we actually want to happen and what kind of things can come from those sorts of changes. You know? Now, he says here that what we do gain is we don't feel alone and we're not anxious anymore because we have a sense of belonging, because we have a community. Because we have, you know, safety. Because we have all these things going on. There is a lot to be gained from it, but the price is high, and it's the loss of the self. And again, very importantly, notice that from is separating. It's not himself. It's their 
self. And the self, again, is that psyche. It's the who you are. You know? And as she was pointing out when we're talking about like Zarathustra, the whole idea is that Zarathustra goes up into the mountain and he isolates himself. He's in solitude. When you're out there, you're not being influenced by the people around you. But understand that when you return from something like that and you're more holy yourself, that you're going to live in friction with a society that's not you. You're going to live in friction with a society that is itself, themselves, and that you're not going to fit into that. And so there's a lot that goes along with that. There's an anxiety that would go along with it. Anybody who's, who's entirely themselves, or at least largely themselves, and can function within a society and not feel like there might be something wrong with them, is probably a narcissist. If the idea is that, you know, I'm fine, but the other 300 million of you guys, there's something wrong with you. There is, that's a narcissism that, that's, that's a play there. In other words, that doesn't mean that, that you're wrong, by the way. It just means it should give you pause when you realize, wow, there's 300 million people who disagree with me. There might be something wrong with me. There might, I might be incorrect. That doesn't mean you are incorrect again. It just means that you should consider that as a possibility. You know? You know, to be so certain of yourself in the face of catastrophic odds is not a, a, a symptom of, of, of heroism or strength. It's a symptom of narcissism and self-consumption. So, if you are entirely, or at least largely, yourself, and you haven't given that thing up, you're going to live it. You're going to live uh, with the friction of society. You're going to live with people who are constantly not understanding you, and they're questioning you. They're going to say things like, "I don't even know why they do that. They're so dumb." You know, you like, and so. It's worth considering if that's something that you want to gain, because you do gain something from it, but you also lose something. Remember, life is suffering. We have to choose what the suffering is that we're going to either, you know, we're going to conform, and there's suffering that goes along with that because the price is high, or if you're going to not do that, if you're not going to conform, you're going to be entirely yourself, then the price is very high as well. The price is going to be high no matter what. Existence itself, especially existence within a society, is you know, the price is very high for something like that. But it's the price that we pay. At least we get to choose which avenue we're going to take. And so this gets a lot towards what what, uh, what Frankel was talking about as well. You know. And so you can leave it at that. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, critiques. Time for a test. All right, go ahead and put those away. Take out your papers from last time.